Hey everybody, Melissa here. So have you ever been in LibreOffice Calc and you're working with formulas or functions and you'll get something in your cell and you're not quite sure what you're looking at? It might start with a hash or an ERR colon and then have a number. So you might see hash value, hash num, hash ref, or you may see ERR colon 503. Now what these are, are errors within our formulas and functions. Now, if you've never seen them before, they can be quite stressful. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie, when I first started seeing them, I would almost panic because I had no idea what I was looking at or how to fix it. And that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to go over the most common errors within our formulas and functions in LibreOffice Calc and tell you how to fix them. I cannot wait to show you how this works. So let's go ahead and get started. Number one, hash error. So this error I call the three hash error or just a hash error. And if you notice, in column B, we can still see cells, but we cannot see any of our numbers. So basically all this means is our column isn't wide enough to see what is in there. Now it doesn't do hash errors for cells because that is words, but it does not want to take any chances with any calculations or anything we do on these cells. So it doesn't show us the numbers. To correct this error, just come up in between B and C, double click, and our values are shown. Number two, hash div. So let's just say that we want to find out if sales have changed between current year and previous year and by what percentage. So what we're gonna do is equals B2 divided by C2 minus one to get our percentage. And then when we pull it down to our other cells, you'll notice we have quite a few hash div errors. And the reason for this is because column C contains zeros and we cannot divide by zeros. Now the easiest way to address these hash div errors is to change our formula with a function that can actually handle errors. And the most common one and easiest one to use is if error. So what we're going to do is go up to our function box and we're going to type in if error, open parentheses, and then after our formula that we have in there, we're gonna put a comma, and then we're going to tell it, what do we want you to return if there is something being divided by zero or an error? And let's just say we want it to return nothing. We just want it to leave the cell blank. We're gonna do quote, quote, close our parentheses and enter. Now, we need to go ahead and pull this down and if you notice anywhere that we had our div error, it is now blank. Number three, error 502. The most common place we're going to find an error 502 is when we're trying to find the square root of a number. Now, if we do equal square root, open our parentheses, select our data, close them, hit enter. This is the square root of 4.95. So let's pull this down. If you notice, we have two error 502s. The reason for this is because we have a negative number and you cannot find the square root of a negative number using this function. Now, if we come up to our function or formula line and we put an IM in front of that square root and hit enter, and let's expand this out and we pull it down, we now have data where our errors were. Now what I would recommend is if you have a long list of data and it could contain the negative numbers, then I would go ahead and use the IM instead of finding these one line at a time and putting them in individually. Number four, hash NA. Hash NA is most commonly found when we're working with VLOOKUPs. In this case, I have a VLOOKUP looking for these fruits in this area here and returning my current year sales. Well, we have two hash NAs here, one for banana and one for kiwi. Now they're for two different reasons. Banana, 
is misspelled. So to correct this, if we take out one of the ends and we hit enter, it's going to return the cells for banana. Now Kiwi, it is not on our list at all. So we can either delete this or if we want to keep it in there in case Kiwi does show up at a later date, we can go into our VLOOKUP and we can add if in a, which is kind of like if error, like we looked at just a few minutes ago, but this is if in a. So if in a, and open our parentheses, we're going to leave our VLOOKUP in there, and then we're going to do a comma after our VLOOKUP, and we're going to tell it alternative value, or if it does find something that does not exist here or an error, what do we want it to? To do. And in this case, let's just say we want it to put fruit not in list. So we're going to open our quotes, fruit not in list, close our quotes, hit enter, and then let's drag this down and see what happens. Our NA changed to fruit not in list. Number five, hash name. So here I have the hash name error. And what this means is I've got the wrong formula or function name. So if I go into it, I've got equals add this column. Well, add is not a valid function or formula in LibreOffice Calc. So I need to change this to the correct one, which is actually sum. So if I do sum and hit enter, it's going to add up my column. I can go ahead and pull it over and it corrects the other one as well. Number six, hash num. We see the hash num error when we've asked LibreOffice Calc to perform a calculation that is way too big for it to handle. Now it can be something as simple as equals previous year sales raised to the 500th power. You're going to get this hash num because it can't handle that. So what we want to do here is check our formulas and functions because chances are that is where the error is. So this we may have meant to do times 500, hit enter, and it works. Number seven, hash ref. We get the hash ref error when data we are trying to calculate or reference is missing or has been moved. So let's say that we want to pull data from sheet two into sheet one. So we're going to do equals, go to sheet two, click on it, hit enter, and it's going to pull that data. Now let's say we go to sheet two, we delete this column, go back to sheet one, we have our hash ref. If we put it back, it comes back. And if we delete the entire sheet, yes, we're sure we get the hash ref error. So you will also get the hash ref error if there is another workbook or file that it is trying to reference and it has been moved or deleted. So when you get the hash ref error, just make sure that your data is where your formula or function expects it to be. Number eight, hash value. We see the hash value error when the data we're trying to calculate contains words. For example, this column, previous year sales, contains the words no sales instead of zeros. So if we go to calculate current year minus previous year, and we carry this down, then we get a hash value wherever our words are. Now there's a couple ways that we can correct this error. One way is we can go to edit, find and replace, and replace the words no sales with zeros. Replace all, close and close, and now it's replaced no sales with zeros, so our calculations are correct. If we need to keep the words no sales in this column, then we can go up to our formula and do B2 minus sum and put our C2 in parentheses, hit enter, carry it down, and our calculations are correct because the function sum ignores words in the column and treats it as zeros. And there you have it. Now you know the most common formula and function errors in LibreOffice Calc. Now when they pop up, you can quickly and easily resolve them and go on about your day. 
If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment if you have any questions, feedback, or ideas for future tutorials. And be sure to click that subscribe button before you leave. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, thanks so much for watching.